candidates. One Republican congressman has proposed an incentive-based alternative energy plan all of his own. He calls it the New Manhattan Project. Representative Randy Forbes of Virginia joins us now to discuss. Uh, congressman Forbes, thank you for being with us. You know, uh, we have a guest on our show from time to time, uh, a gentleman named Stephen Lieb. Is a, he's an economist, and he calls this uh, a war. He says we have to treat it like a war. Boone Pickens used the term war. He talks about a national emergency. There's some sense that unless we treat this with the urgency of things like either the, the race to the moon or, or, as you call it, the Manhattan Project, uh, we're not getting this done in the normal course of business. Well, Ali, I think you're exactly right, but I think there's two things that we need to look at as respectfully and humbly as I can state it, I think most of the plans that we've seen around the country are just too small. We've got to have a larger project that is no less significant than when we created the atom bomb and when we placed a man on the moon. And the second thing, while I absolutely agree it's like a war, there is a silver lining in this. I think if these foreign countries hadn't gotten so greedy and energy prices hadn't reached the levels that they were today, we'd never have the backbone and the courage to perhaps stand up and do some things that could really place America on a new innovative trail for years to come. So I think the key is whether we can harness the private and public sector and put them into something as dynamic and inspiring as this new Manhattan Project could be. All right. So, uh, you know, Congress has held about 40 hearings this year on oil prices and gas prices and speculation or not speculation or whatever the case is. Uh, bottom line is it, it, that's not working. What is it you propose that the government should do that would have a different result than what we've seen so far? Well, first of all, the politicians can't do it, Allie, and that's what's happened because Leadership on both sides of the aisle are far more concerned with convincing people that the, their opponents are wrong than they are in creating something that's going to be right for America. And what the New Manhattan Project does is, first of all, it pulls together a team of the best scientists and engineers that we have in the country to form a commission to tell us a plan within a year of how we can become 50 percent less dependent on foreign oil in 10 years and 100 percent in 20 years. The second thing it does is it does what America does best, and that is hard is the innovative capabilities that we have from the private sector by putting huge prizes out for people that reach energy goals. What we found is if we put a billion dollar prize out, private sector will spend 40, 50, 100 billion dollars to try to attain it. But the third big component is we energize a whole new generation of young Americans to go into math and science so that they can do just what you talked about, and that is fight this huge war and put America on a footing that carries us uh, with a great deal of strength into the future decades. All right, we're keeping count of, of, of ideas that come up, and we like George, which is why we've invited you back to talk about this. Uh, and I like the fact that Boone Pickens has put one out, and I, that's, that's regardless of whether you think his plan will work or not. But as I asked him, I'm going to ask you, has anybody bitten? Has anybody said, Congressman, that's brilliant. Why, where, how do we get started? Actually, we've had an incredible response from the American people because the American people understand that. That's why Congress approval rating is 9% now, because the American people understand this is not a war between Republicans and Democrats. This is a war between the United States and these foreign dictators who control much of our energy. So I think the American people are energized. They realize we've got to have big plans, big ideas. That's what this new Manhattan Project does. And we hope we'll have 10, 20, 30, 50 Mr. Pickens across the country who bring all of those ideas to the table yeah. and we get a tapestry that uh, helps carry us home. That, that would probably be the answer. Why did you decide on, on, on prizes as opposed to, say, tax incentives? Because tax incentives, I think, will is a situation where government basically says this is what we want you to do and we're going to reward you. With prizes, we don't tell them what to do. We set goals and we use American innovation and imagination to see how we reach those goals. And Ali, you know as well as I do, when Americans come together and do that, sometimes it's an idea that nobody thought of in Washington right. that ends up carrying the day and getting us to where we want to go. Well, I wish you and T. Boone Pickens well and I hope that uh, you're right. Other people come out with ideas and we'll continue to follow it very closely here on CNN. Congressman Randy Forbes, thanks Thank for joining us.